Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the athletes to the field for the combat men's quarterfinal match number two. Bayanlar, baylar, Makarov ve erkekler çeyrek finalinin ikinci maçında yarışacak sporcuları sahaya davet ediyoruz. On target one representing Turkey. Bir numaralı hedef Türkiye'den Demir Emaşli. And his competitor on target two representing Denmark. Rakibi iki numaralı hedeften Danimarka'dan Stefan Hansen. The line judge for this match is Maçın çizgi hakemi Alexandre Vecchio Passerini. Elmaşli, you're shooting first. And then you're shooting second. Target one shooting first. Range is clear. Start the match. So here we go, the second quarter final in the compound men's individual event. And it's the host nation athlete, Elmer Ashley, who's going to shoot first. I would say he has all the crowd behind him, but uh, Stefan's parents Mid are actually sitting in the middle of the Turkish crowd. So uh, I'm sure they'll be too, though. Yep, X. Hi, X. From the Dane. What an incredible group of them here. Femden. Need a really quick nine from Stefan. Well, a two-point lead for the Turkish athlete, a perfect score from Alma Ashley. And uh, I think uh, you were talking about the parents. Yeah, um, okay, there just they had were. A, a good view on them. Well, here we get a comparison of uh, those first six arrows, Hansen in red, Alma Ashley in yellow. Yeah, there's no denying that Demir's group is uh, definitely tighter than the Stefan's, but uh, if you adjust his sight, I'm, uh, I'm guessing we'll uh, we'll see a better score from Stefan in the, the next end. Well, there is um, Ashley, and look at I mean, look how close that first arrow is to the spider, and then he nails the third one right on the dot in the middle of the target. Yeah, that will give him some confidence, surely. Definitely. Brilliant reaction there. Two shooting first. Range is clear. Archers can shoot. So the trailing archer shoots first here, and that will be Stefan Hansen from Denmark. He's had his first three arrows. He settled yes. his nerves. And he'll shoot first in the second end of this quarter. Femden. How's Tiny? It's a bit, uh, a bit odd. Normally, uh, Stefan doesn't shoot nine so far out of the middle, especially if there's no good reason to do that. Um, the sun is coming oh. from uh, in front of him, so that might have something to do with it. Because you, you can see he's wearing his hat really well. Femden. Now the X. That's better from uh, Stefan Hansen, a 10. Longer hold. Still hit the, hit the line. That was tiny. Wow. Yeah, that was a bit <laughs> shaky. Not happy about that at all. That will go to a measure as well. Wow. Perfect. 
from Elma Ashley. He's carrying the weight of expectation of this packed out crowd. And Hansen did an interview before this match. And he said, on paper, it should be the easiest match, but that doesn't necessarily has to be the case in real life. Um, well, he's shooting against cool. uh, the number eight ranked archer of this tournament. Um, he is actually a really good archer and he has won this tournament before, so he knows what it takes to win. Yeah, but uh, struggling a bit here through the first two ends, trailing by five points already, subject to uh, a measure on his third arrow in that second end. In fact, it's been marked up to uh, a nine, and at the same time, on the measure, Alma Ashley's second arrow was marked down to a nine, so it's closed the score up That'd by two, two shooting points. seconds. Range is clear. Archers can shoot. It was originally five before the uh, before the measure. The measure marked one up for Hansen and one down for Verma. So Femden. Strani Leo Venstre. It's interesting how calm Vimir can stay when his uh, his arrow falls off his rest in the middle of a high stress situation like this. He, uh, he pulls back his bow and the arrow falls into his riser and then he just calmly picks it up with his finger and, and puts it back. The same still in order. Stefan's really must be searching for something that he can change to still get back in the game, I think. Well, I'm actually just opening the door a little bit for him. He doesn't look happy at all, does he? Oh, I suppose I wouldn't be if I was in his situation. Turkish Archer, 29 out of a possible 30. Demir is doing exactly what he's asked to do. He's just shooting, and he's, uh, he's getting his, his arrows in the middle, and he shoots nice, but not too many, and uh, not like, yeah. And, and, and Stefan, I don't know what's, what's up, but normally he's a person who will just drill the middle. And now he's shooting nine after nine. Yeah, we'll look at these uh, arrows, and it's quite a wide spread as well. Yeah, yeah, it's really interesting. Um, and it's not like all of the arrows are in, in one side of the of the target, but they're like high, right, left, low. Scores confirmed. So I'd be interested to know what's actually going on. Well, Twenty-three-year-old Dane looking very. He just didn't look happy with anything at all that was going on. And uh, well, you can see his face there, shrugging his shoulders. I don't know what's going on, coach, he's saying. But the 23-year-old won Salt Lake City. He knows what it's like to compete under pressure. Trailing here, though, by six points. Femden. Leonie, Samsters and Jan. I think he shot four low arrows after each other right now. Maybe even five. Not very pleased with the shot, but I'm sure he's pleased with the result. Leon and Ian. Well, creeping it now, starting to tighten up. Yeah, and that shot was a much better shot than the, the ones I've seen before as well. The energy went straight to the target instead of the being contained in his body. Bravo. <laughs> Yep, let's see. Uh, starting to improve for the Danish archer. But 
still trailed by seven points now. There is going to be a measure on the second arrow. Uh, as you were saying, Demi um, Ashley is the eighth seed for this competition. In fact, uh, qualified by getting the host nation spot. Yeah. Uh, but he did win the competition in 2015. He did. He did, in fact. Um, and in 2017, I think he uh, got a second, like a silver medal in Shanghai. Um, so, yeah, he's, he's no stranger to, uh, to these situations. A nice pick for the host nation then. The has been upgraded. Scores confirmed. 117, 111. Here we see so Hansen the Turkish first winner from 2015. Second. Looking very calm and very, very steady. First. And uh, Range is clear. the slightest of, uh, well, I'm not really giving away too much there, apart from I'm, I'm pretty cool, and calm and steady. So we go into the fifth end. A seven, uh, sorry, a six point deficit after the uh, measure. Femden. Hansen to shoot first. Yep, yeah, how's Can you turn this round in three arrows? Uh, no. Uh, well. <laughs> Maybe that was a hard no, but uh, something would have to happen to Demir if Stefan Hansen is still going to win this match. Oh. If he carries on shooting like that, he's going to be a contender for a medal here for sure. Big wobble. Big wobble, and look at that. Oh, look at that. Very upset. I think he threw his release in the air. Demir, oh. <laughs> taking advantage of uh, an under par. Stefan Hansen, another big wobble there. Gets an eight, uh, but uh, well, it's over before the final arrow is shot. Well, a solid performance from Demir Alma Ashley, winner of the second quarter final, but against a very under par Stefan Hansen, who just scored 134 points. Yeah, I think he'll uh, go back to the training field and maybe shoot some blank mail or uh, get some good shots off before he uh, gets on a flight home. Yeah, he certainly won't be happy with that. We saw. Uh, the pressure bill, but there is confirmation that Demir Alma oh Ashley will keep the uh, home crowd entertained as he progresses through to the semi finals.